Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now going to go through question number seven from the Mechanics M1 International A Level at Excel June 2022 exam. Here we're told about two small children, Ajaz and Beth, who are running a 100 meters race along a straight horizontal track. They both start from rest, leaving the start line at the same time. Ajaz accelerates at 0 0.8 meters per second squared up to a speed of 4 meters per second and then maintains this speed until he crosses the finish line. Beth accelerates at 1 meters per second squared for t seconds and then maintains a constant speed until she crosses the finish line. Ajaz and Beth cross the finish line at the same time. So we've got to sketch on the same pair of axes a speed time graph for each child from the instant when they leave the start line to the instant when they cross the finish line. Okay, so we're going to make a speed time graph. So we're going to have speed on the y-axis, and we're going to have time on the x-axis. Okay, so here we have speed, which is in meters per second, and here we'll have time, which is in seconds. So let's start with Ajaz. He accelerates at 0 0.8 meters per second squared up to a speed of 4 meters per second. Okay. So let me make that a bit thinner. So he starts from rest at 0 seconds and he goes for a certain time. Um, accelerating until he reaches maximum speed and then he continues at that speed until he finishes the finish line. So he reaches a speed of 4 meters per second and he does that um, with an acceleration of 0 0.8 meters per second squared. So I know that the gradient of this line here is 0 0.8. I know the gradient of this line here is 0 0.8. So I can work out what this time is going to be for him to reach his maximum speed. So let me call this x for now. All right, so this is x4, this is 0, 0. So I know that 4 minus 0 over x minus 0 is equal to 0 0.8 because that was his acceleration, okay, as I mentioned here. Okay, so therefore I can say 4 over x equals 0 0.8. So x is equal to 4 divided by 0 0.8 which is 4 divided by 4 fifths which is 5 so I know that this is 5 seconds it takes him to reach that maximum speed 4 over 5 4 over 5 is 0 0.8 that's the gradient of this line so I know that's 5 seconds okay and we also know that um, okay so that that's what we know so it takes him a certain time to finish the race which we don't know okay um, that's gonna be over here time for him to finish the race now that's what we can draw for him then it says Beth accelerates at one meters per second squared so it's going to be a steeper line okay because it's an acceleration of one meters per second squared for t seconds and then maintains a constant speed until she crosses the finish line all right so we don't know how many seconds it is but because this is going to be steeper and she crosses the, the finish line at the same time so she's run the same 100 meters in the same time. So the area of her graph and the area of that graph must be equal. That means um, her graph, this line is going to go below that line. Because if it went above that line, supposing her acceleration took her to a higher speed, then, of course, the area of her trapezium will be bigger than the area of this trapezium. And it would mean that she's traveled a further distance. But we know they both did the same race, 100 meters. And they finished at the same time. So in that same time, they've covered the same distance. So the area of this trapezium, which is for Beth, and the area of this trapezium, which is for Ajaz, must be the same. Okay, so what I know here is, I don't know what this is, what this speed is, but this is what we're going to be calling T. They've asked us to call T the time it took for her to reach her maximum speed. So this is the T in the question. Okay, this is the T that they were talking about. All right, and this is, let's call this, the speed that Beth reaches, a uh, higher speed. Let's just call that VB for now. All right, so now that's the sketch of the speed time graph for each child 
And that's what we can mark on there for now. All right, part B says, find the time taken by Ajaz to complete the race. Okay, so we want to find the, this time over here, not the T here, the time over here. Let's call it um, TF. Okay, the, the, the time to finish the race. Okay, so the time it takes for Ajaz to finish the race, of course, it's going to be the same time it takes Beth to finish the race because they both finish at the same time. But if we use um, Ajaz's graph, okay, which is the, the taller one here, it's going to look something like this. I know that the distance he's traveled is 100 meters. The distance is 100 meters. Okay, so that's the area of the graph, you could say. Now, this is a trapezium shape. We know that the total distance here, the total time taken is, this is what we have to find, TF. I know that from here to here is going to be that time minus 5. So this is, you can say TF take away 5. Okay, because that part from there to there is 5 seconds. And we also know that the maximum speed is 4 meters per second. So that's like the height of the trapezium. So I can say that the distance between the parallel sides, which is like the height of the trapezium, divided by 2 times the sum of the parallel sides, which is TF plus um, TF minus 5 plus TF minus 5. I know that's equal to 100 meters. Okay, so what we can do here is we can try to simplify this. This gives you 2, and this is 2 TF minus 5 equals 100. Divide both sides by 2. 2 TF minus 5 equals 50. So that means, whoops, divide by 2. So TF minus 5 equals 50. So that means TF is equal to 50 plus 5. Uh, sorry, 2 TF minus 5 equals 50. Uh, so 2 TF equals 55. That 2 I'll divide it by this 2 to give me 50 here. I've still got this 2 in here. Sorry about that. So that means TF, the final, the time for them to finish the race is 55 divided by 2, which is 27.5 seconds. So I know that that's 27.5 seconds. That's the value of T. Okay, that's 27.5 seconds. So now we have answered part B. And I'm going to go on to part C now. Okay, for part C, we have to find the value of T. Okay, we've got to find the value of T, which is this, this over here. Now, what do we know from this situation here? Well, what we know is that uh, the time was 27.5. We worked that out. This is 27.5. We also know that the acceleration, okay, the acceleration for B, which was Beth, was 1 meters per second squared so what i can say is that the gradient of this graph which is the change in the velocity which is vb over the change in time over t is equal to one so i know that vb is equal to t in terms of the value of the velocity here and the value of this time here they have the same numerical value because when you divide them you get one okay so i can use that now because what i have here is I have this is 27.5 so for bit for Beth her graph also has an area of 100 meters okay that's the that's the distance traveled or the area under the okay so that will give us a hundred okay we know that this is 27.5 how long it took her to do the race and the the other parallel size up here is going to be 27.5 minus whatever t is and this is the velocity that she reached, okay, which is the same value as whatever t is. So we can use this and form a um, equation using these values with t as unknown. So we know that the area of this trapezium is the distance between the parallel sides, which is t divided by 2, times the sum of the parallel sides, which is 27.5 plus 
27.5 minus t and this is equal to the distance traveled which is 100 we can multiply both sides by 2 so this will become 200 here and this will be t times add these together that's 55 minus t okay that's equal to 200 and then we can now um, simplify this you've got 55 t minus t squared equals 200 let's make this, this is a quadratic so i'll put t squared minus 55 t plus 200 equals zero so here we have a quadratic equation which we can try to solve okay so let's try to solve this quadratic equation um now i don't think this factorize because 200 is a result of 50 times 4 no that won't help and 40 times 5 that won't help I don't think there's any numbers that multiply to give you 200 and add up to minus 55. They both have to have the same sign, no. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the quadratic formula. So we have t equals minus b, which is 55, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 55 squared minus 55 squared. It's the same thing as 55 squared because you're going to square it. b squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 200. That's used over 2a. That's using the quadratic formula, so 2 times 1. A is 1, B is minus 5, and C is 200. Okay, so that should give me two values of T. So let's see what values of T we get from this. So we got minus, we got 55 plus the square root of uh, 55 squared. We don't need to worry about the minus because it's going to become positive when you square it. Minus 4 times 200. 4 times 1 times 200. Okay, over 2. Okay, what does that give us? That gives us 55 point plus 5 root 89 over 2, which I'm going to just round it to 3SF. That's 51.084. 51.085. Now, that doesn't make sense. The other value of T we get from this formula is when you put a negative sign here, minus B plus or minus. So this becomes a minus here. Change that to a minus. And that gives us a value which is more sensible, 3.915, 3.915 continues. So obviously, T is equal to 3.92 seconds. That's the answer. We, can't, we, we don't accept this. Why? Because the total time for the race was 27.5 seconds. So this can't be an answer. Quadratics normally give you two solutions. And sometimes that one of the solutions does not fit the question. In this case, that's... You know, we have the case like that. So we write t equals 3.92 seconds. Okay, that's the time it took for um, Beth to finish the race. Okay, so it says find the difference in the speeds of the two children as they cross the finish line. So the the speed of, um, what's his name, Ajaz, was 4 meters per second. And the speed of Beth was well remember v b and t were the same so that's 3.92 meters per second they have the same numerical value so therefore we can say that the difference between their speeds is v a minus v b which is 4 minus 3.9 um let, let me put it in this more exact form 3.915 okay just to make sure so we got this it's going to have four take away the answer and that gives us 0 0.084, 0 0.08495, 0 0.08495, which gives you 0 0.0850 to 3SF. That's in meters per second. That's the difference between their speeds. Okay, so there's the answer to part D of this question. That concludes this question from the June 2022 M1 exam. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region here. Other questions from this topic of speed time graphs from M1 in the playlist that will appear over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.